Hello there, class of 2014. This is your favorite summertime faculty member, Mr. Gottwalls. And what I want to talk about in this podcast is how you're going to obtain software uh, for use in your classes. So um, if you go to moodle.ncssm.edu, you should see a page that looks like this. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to go and you're going to click on NCSSM software and tech training. I'm going to click on that link now. Okay. I, the first thing you're going to see when you get there is it's going to there will be a button there that says enroll me and simply click on that and you will get enrolled. I've already enrolled so I didn't see that message and what you're going to now see is three links here something about STEM, something about a mathematical learning center and then down here where it says software and that's where you want to be. So I'm going to click on software and what you should notice now here is that there are four folders, one for people who are on Windows machines, one folder for Mac people, and one folder for Linux software. The fourth folder is for staff only. Now I'm on a Mac here, but I'm going to sort of demonstrate what it looks like on if I was on a Windows machine, and I'm simply going to click on Windows software. What you will notice there is there's we've grouped things by uh, division or uh, discipline, so humanities. Now, what you're going to need to download for the summer is a piece of software called Logger Pro, and it's a piece of science software. So I don't need anything from humanities, so I'm going to click on the minus sign there, and that'll hide all that humanities stuff. Likewise, I don't need anything from math. I'm going to click on that, and that'll hide that. Under other are things like uh, Microsoft Office, which is Word and Excel and PowerPoint and all that stuff. You will not need that for the summer, so don't worry about downloading that and trying to install that this summer. You can just wait until we get to school and we'll take care of that for you. So I'm going to hide other. Okay? And now under Science, okay, I see something called Cat Lab. I don't need Cat Lab, so I'm going to hide that. I don't need Digital Microscope, so I'm going to hide that. I don't need IR Tutor, so I'm going to hide that. And now I get down to the program I do need called Logger Pro. And what you should notice under Logger Pro there is there's a file called Logger Pro Read Me First. Uh, it is the case at NCSSM that you, if you can't read, if you won't read, if you refuse to read, it's going to be a very long two years at Science and Math. You have to read stuff. Uh, we're not going to just spoon feed you every little bit of information verbally in class. You're going to have to read. You're going to have to read uh, email. You're going to have to read uh, readme files, all that kind of stuff. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and click on readme first. In my case, it's going to download that program. I'm going to double click on it because I want to open it. And notice what it has in the readme file. Okay, It says you have to download this thing, put it someplace where you can find it, double click on the icon, file instructions, and it tells you there what the password is for installing this particular software. So if you had not read this file, you wouldn't know what to do. Okay? And that's going to be true for most of the software packages that you install at Science and Math. Okay, I'm going to close that up. Okay, at this point, what I'm going to do, it told me in the instructions in the README file to download this one. So I'm going to download that. You might see in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, it's downloading it on my machine. And it's going to be really important that you wait until this thing is completely downloaded. If you try to install it halfway through it being downloaded, it's not going to work. Okay, so now I'm on a Mac, so I can't install it. By the way, anything that is a .exe file for you Windows people is an installer file. And you need to learn that and understand that. So if I were on a Windows machine now, I would now double click on that file and, and follow the instructions. Okay. So I'm going to go back, so I'm done there, and I'm going to take a look at the Mac version. So I'm going to click on Mac software. Likewise, there's lots of things there. I don't need Sibelius. Okay, down, 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 down. Oh, there's Logger Pro, but there's something there called installing Logger Pro for Mac, and that's an RTF file, which is a rich text format. So I'm going to click on that, give it a second to download, double click on it. What's that going to tell me? Okay, it says installation instructions for Logger Pro. So I need to click on the this package, double click on the installer, and it tells me what to do. So now I would go to install Logger Pro. Anything that is a .mpkg package is an installer. Okay. Anything Now this one happens to be zipped, so I'm going to click on that and it's going to download it. And I notice it's telling me it's going to take a minute or so. You have to wait for it. 
So we're just sitting here waiting. 30 seconds. And again, if you try to install these things before they're completely downloaded, it's not going to work. So hopefully you are using a good browser. I would recommend you not use Internet Explorer. I would recommend you use Firefox or Google Chrome. Those are the best browsers for things we do at Science and Math. Internet Explorer will give you nothing but headaches. Uh, if you like Internet Explorer, knock yourself out but we're recommending that you not do that. Okay, so now I'm going to double click on this. It's going to unarchive it. It opens it there. And now when I double click on Install Logger Pro, it's going to now install this program. I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that. And we'll go from there. Okay, so that's how you're going to install software. And again, uh, for you Linux people, by the way, if I click on Linux, there's not very much there at all. So you're going to have to dual boot into Windows or some other operating system that will support the software we're going to be using. Okay, I hope this helps, and if you have questions, let me know. We'll see you online. Thanks. Bye.